Thank you all for coming to the grand opening of the new elevator. It all began four years ago with one person reminding us of our responsibility to be accessible. Brightly colored canvases adorn the walls of the Ladysmith Waterfront Gallery, intended for all to view. But since the Art Council opened it in the old warehouse space in 2006, some people have been excluded from getting upstairs to the second floor showroom and studio spaces. The elevator project got started because we had a, a, a woman that came with her husband. He was diagnosed with a disability. It was a place they loved to come to and eventually his illness got so bad that he couldn't make it up the stairs and it was heartbreaking. She would come to the gallery and leave John in the car. One day she handed me a check for $500 and said get an elevator and I promised that we would do that and it was our responsibility really to make this place accessible. The gallery is very successful boasting over 7,000 visitors this year. And we're continually improving the space. The town of Ladysmith is so amazing. They were really smart to give us this space and um, we're 100% uh, volunteer organizations, so our volunteers have done this on their own. I think one of the brightest lights that we have in our, in our community is this gallery, and now the fact that it's accessible to everyone is really a huge win. Kathy Holmes became the major visionary and activist behind the Elevator Project, spearheading a four-year-long fundraising campaign that raised over $86,000 for a lift to transport those with mobility challenges up and down. We've got a, a grant from um, the federal government from their EAF program um, that was that came to us on December, four, December 23rd 2014. They phoned us to tell us that we had $40,000 which was just amazing. We were crying. We were so excited. So that meant that people like BC Rehab would come on board. They sat for three years on a grant application and they just kept putting it aside and waiting for us to get most of the funding in place. And then the, all the other funders came forward. We come as, as often as we can. We try to see the new exhibits and um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a part of our life that we enjoy. And I've, um, unfortunately, I'm having a little problem with my health and I'm waiting for hip surgery. So it's very painful for me to go up and down these stairs. And even the last time I was here, which was a couple months ago, I really struggled so when I heard there's a, a, a lift I was very pleased because now I could enjoy the little gala it's a, enjoy the artwork and it's a social um, atmosphere as well which is something I really was pleased to attend. In celebration of the completion of the elevator project the Arts Council laid out an assortment of cookies refreshments and a collection of ornate cups and invited everyone to a tea party to salute the community achievement. So really this was Pam Fairchild's gift to our community through us and it's so exciting. It really and truly is. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.